Song Sparrow by Celia Thaxter. In the sweet, tranquil afternoon of spring, while the low sun declines in the clear west, I sit and hear the bliff song sparrow sing his strain of rapture not to be suppressed. Pondering life's problems strange, while death draws near, I listen to his dawnless song of cheer. Shadow flits across the quiet stone, like that brief transit is my space of days. For like a flower's faint perfume, youth's flown already, and there rests on all life's ways the dimness. Closer, my beloved, I clasp, for all dear things seem slipping from my grasp. If that is all. Let of loving eyes goes out in darkness, comfort is withdrawn. Lonelier and lonelier still the pathway lies, going toward the fading sunset from the dawn. Hark? I rose my notes for silence break, as if all trouble were some grave mistake. For a little bird, I can't of us rejoice, as if the world had now no sin nor curse. God never meant to mock us with a voice, but is the keynote of a universe, the song of perfect trust, of perfect cheer, courageous, constant, free of doubt or fear. My little helper are my comrade sweet, my old companion in the far of time, when all life's fresh old childhood's winged feet danced in the sunrise, joy was at its prime, when all my heart responded to thy song, unconscious of earth's discords, harsh and strong. Now, drawn a very sad of change and loss, with the enigma of myself dismayed, poor, safe and deep desire to be of a cross, God's hand on his defenceless creatures laid, with patience, here sit this eve of spring and listen with bowed head, but thou dost sing. And slowly all my soul of comfort fills, and the old hope with wives and courage grows. Up the deserted shore fresh tide frills, and like a dream the dark mood melts and goes, and with thy joy again will I rejoice. God never meant to mock us with a voice.